everyone, welcome! Today I'm going to show you the unboxing of my new card case from Soundloft. If you're new here, this is our daily board. Um, recently, I had a growing appetite for luxury goods, so I do some unboxing of that and then some tech stuff as well. I would always go on YouTube to watch luxury unboxing. I do think it's very helpful to see stuff in real life versus what you see on their websites. Or it's just generally entertaining, so I hope you like this video too. If you do, please hit like and subscribe to see my next video. This is my first Saint Laurent purchase ever, so I'm quite excited to open it. Um, I got it from the newly opened store in Westfield New Market here in Oakland. Um, this is the first YSL store here in the country and it's currently right across the LV store where I got my Speedy 25 exactly a week ago. I'll put a link up here above or you can find it in the description below. Let's what get into it, shall we? Monogram Fragments Zippered Card Case in Gande Poudre Embossed Leather. I got it in black. I love the elegance of the packaging and um, when I went to the mall I was on a mission to get a card case but was choosing between LV and YSL and I really hope I made the right decision with this one. How about you guys? Are you on the same boat? Um, how many card cases would you compare before you arrive at the one thing that you wanted to purchase? Sorry that you can see the foot of my tripod, by the way. Um, so the receipt um, is in here, so they put it in this black envelope. You can see the name of the location, Saint Laurent and Broadway. That's where the Westfield New Market Mall is located. It's priced at 570 New Zealand dollars. Let's put this thing aside and um, let's now try to neatly open my package without destroying the bag. By the time I got to the mall, I only had about like 45 minutes to decide. Um, so I had to leave the store, um, talk to my sister and see her thoughts before I came back and purchased it. So um, it was not an impulse buy, I won't say, because I did have a think about it. Um, but it did feel kind of exciting to walk out and then walk in again and get this package. So we're making some good progress here and you can see now what's inside. So it comes in a box um, that you see just right there at the bottom of the paper bag. I actually have seen this box and everything inside it um, in the store. My SA gave me three of their stock to choose from before wrapping it. Um, I did have to kind of set aside a couple of them because um, the zippers were not really going very smoothly. So just like something for you to check out as well and make sure that it's all good before um, purchasing yours. And then now we open the box. quite consistent. They have this simple, elegant look with white Saint Laurent text on black. It has some, I guess, product care information. I've always been curious what's inside when I see it in unboxing, so let's um, open that up later on. Cool, so nothing really groundbreaking here. Um, that's probably some textile information. Um, there's a few more paper that seem to have um, product care information in different languages. Um, that one is a certificate of authenticity. Some more paper and a random card. The dust bag that it came with is quite thick, and I think that's the case for the rest of their items. And here is the card case. I honestly think it looks very nice, um, what you guys think. I hope the quality of the video is enough to kind of see what it looks like. The leather is grainy, as the title suggests. 
and um, the hardware are quite a bright kind of gold. Um, like what I said when I tried in the store, the zipper was quite um, funny for some of the ones that I tried. Um, there's also a bit of wear and tear that I saw in the sample or display that they had. So it will be interesting to see how mine's going to stand the test of time. So now maybe let's just try to remove this random piece of paper and um, maybe what I'll do is transfer the stuff that I have from my compact wallet. So let me just grab that one. I only have a few cards and a couple of keys and a work key fob. Um, and when I was buying this card case, it was important to me that I could put my keys inside it as well or at least kind of dangling maybe by the zip opening. I skipped over the parts of me putting my cards so you can see it. It's like that. Um, it is quite snug. Um, it doesn't feel too snug though. I mean, you can even put one more card in the zip. Let's try and put it here, and that's my gym fob, but I don't really go to the gym anymore, so yeah, it looks a bit weird. Um, might be the card that I could just remove, or maybe let's try to put it here. Um, I do have a loop for my keys. I think it works well and we can even put some maybe receipts inside quite comfortably and then let's put the card back yeah and there's still more space for another one so overall right now I have about seven cards Two inside the zip and then five outside. I shot some more videos kind of just before the sun was setting. You can see how nice and shiny this is. I don't know why I think this is helpful but you can just like see that's the, you know, the kind of general color and texture um, and natural light. I'm genuinely curious whether the gold hardware is going to tarnish quite quickly. I'll do a review and update you guys a month from now. If you're interested to see what that would look like, don't forget to hit subscribe so you'll stay updated on when I have the review out. The reason why I was looking for a card case in the first place was that so I could fit it in my super mini Gucci Marmot bag. Oh, and something I didn't mention is that the inside is leather, just in case you're curious. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!